Welcome to 13 News Tonight at 6. I'm James Stratton. And I'm Kristen Crowley. The COVID-19 pandemic has turned the education sector on its head, creating a school year filled with uncertainty. After months of navigating this new type of instruction, a number of RPS 205 teachers now urge the district to move to in-person learning, or rather remote learning only. 13 News reporter Mary Sugden has our continuing coverage. One by one, union leaders and teachers took the floor at Tuesday night's virtual RPS 205 board meeting. I am here tonight as a voice for all of our teachers and staff. We can no longer stand by and watch as the numbers of positive COVID-19 cases rise throughout the community. Some speaking on a mental health toll. Never in my 16 years have I ever seen a teaching staff so utterly demoralized and burnt out. Others describing a logistical nightmare of filling positions while some staff quarantine. With large numbers of teachers quarantined and out of the buildings, we have a staffing crisis on our hands. For one, a personal brush with the virus. I'm a staff member who learned she tested positive for COVID-19 yesterday, and I truly believe I was infected at work. It's not safe for our students. It's not safe for me. It's truly time to go remote. While each educator spoke from a different perspective, they're united in their call to move learning fully remote. In a statement to 13 WREX, the district says it's in constant conversations with the county health department to determine next steps. However, the suggestion of full remote draws apprehension from some parents like Mark Rauschenberger. So, yeah, I cringe a little bit when I hear the teachers unions. Well, we've got to go remote. Yeah. He has a 16 year old foster student who has special needs and says he learns best in person and struggles on remote days. He's concerned for students like his own who are more at risk and is hopeful if the district moved remote, students like his might get a more tailored plan. So when I hear about let's cut back to more remote learning, you know, that would be fine if we have a partnership with the teachers and the teachers union to say this is what we need to be working on with our children when they're not face to face with the teachers. But for now, the plan remains the same as the district continues to navigate a school year with no playbook. For your 13 Weather Authority, Mary Sugden, 13 News. We, we reached out to RPS 205 who gave us this statement from Superintendent Aaron Jarrett. It says, quote, we know there are concerns and struggles in this unpredictable school year. We appreciate our staff, students and families perspectives during this difficult time. Our administration is in constant communication with the Winnebago County Health Department to determine our next steps and to ensure that it's safe to offer in person and blended model instruction for students and families who need it. We will continue to work with our local health officials to plan our next steps.